Okay, so let's kick off with oil. Oil is currently trading at $82 a barrel. The week kicked off on the open at $76.44, low down here, and we've made a good climb for the week, um, around about 10% climb uh, from the lows. So we will see a increase in the diesel market of two to three pence. Um, looking at the politics, Russian oil has been capped from, from the EU to $60, 60 to $70. And that's one of the reasons why oil is climbing up. Uh, moving over to sterling. Sterling, we kicked off the week around about 122.54. We pushed up because on Tuesday, the inflation data came out for the US, came in a tick lower at 7.1%, which is lower than the month of October. Therefore, all counterparts of the dollar have surged. And yesterday, the Federal Reserve has raised rates about 50 basis points, much less than what they ha normally have been raising by 75 basis points. And the Federal Reserve have said they will sort of like ease a bit as inflation has dropped uh, on the rate hikes. So we will see more bullish momentum compared to all counterparts. And today the Bank of England delivered a 50 basis rate rate hike as well. So their main message was they have increased rates. Um, so on the board, there were two members that were saying let's keep the rates at 3%. But the rest of the board did manage to increase and vote for a 50, 50 basis point rate hike. So now the um, base rate sits at 3.5%. This is the highest it's been in 14 years uh, since 2007, uh, and that was the last financial crisis. Um, <clears throat> so the Bank of England are worried about the um, living crisis as well, and there have been telltale signs that the uh, UK economy won't be growing next month as expected to what they had forecasted as we will be in a recession and inflation stays high so the rate hikes will continue but not at a rapid pace to what they were expecting and that's all then so we did have two inflation data releases and three central banks raising rates for the week so it's absolutely been crazy and a hectic week uh, in the market so the diesel market will be increasing two to three pence for next week and that's all